Hoobie Doo is everyone's favorite boomer and vintage lens enthusiast. Today is uh, January 1st, 2023, and I didn't bother to stay up to ring in a new year. I went to bed at the same time I always did. And because I have a cat, I get up at the same time I always do because I got to feed him. So uh, I get up and, uh, you know, I take care of a business and then uh, it's before 7 o'clock. So what I did was I grabbed my Nikon Z50 and I grabbed three uh, Canon FD lenses, which is the uh, fisheye lens, 15mm 2.8, the 28mm 2.8, and the 35 to 75, 3.5 to 4.5 zoom. Right? I have interchangeable lens camera, why not interchange my lenses? So I drove down to a town in a different county, a rather large, rich town, a safe town, as it were. And uh, because everyone had partied out all last night, the roads were empty and deserted. So I drove down to this town, I parked on the main street. Uh, all the towns in my state seem to have uh, put uh, uh, signs or paper bags over the parking meters saying that for the Yule holiday, you don't have to feed the meters, which is pretty nice. And then I walked around town with these lenses. First I had this one on, and I shot a bunch of different photos with this. And then I walked around again, and I put the 28 millimeter on, and then I took some more pictures, similar and different pictures, because uh, this only goes down to 35 millimeters, so this has a, a wider field of view. And then I walked down, uh, I put this back on, walked down a side street, and I came back, and I put this on, and I walked around and I took some more pictures with this. Uh, I guess I spent the uh, 70 minutes there. Uh, I got to go back. Uh, there's another part of the, what is it, the, uh, the west part of this, the main street. I didn't do, so I'm going to have to do that. But, I mean, these are a great set of lenses. Let's say you bought one of these Nikon Z50s for uh, 500 bucks. You get one of these in excellent condition for 100 bucks. You could probably get one of these in like new condition for a hundred bucks. This is expensive. This might cost you two or three hundred bucks. But then, you know, inflation could kick in and these prices may mean doggy do. But, you know, so let's see, 500, 600, 700, 900 dollars, you got this really cool system, right? Of course, it doesn't have to be a Nikon Z50. You could buy a Sony or a Canon or anybody else now because they all have these adapters. I like to use the photodiox adapters myself. Uh, and then it handled really, really good. Of course, uh, everything was manual. I was in manual mode. I set the ISO between 400 and 800 depending. I varied the shutter speed and uh, the aperture on all of them. When I got there, I was shooting like at 5.6 and as the sun came up, I uh, went down to F8 and 11, and the same with these things. Um, so I highly recommend, this is an excellent way to go about it. And you can see the samples following. But I highly recommend this. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you could have bought one fancy brand new modern lens that's all, you know, uh, image stabilization, a uh, couple set of camera with the full aperture control and everything. But, you know, I, I want to think a little bit about the pictures I took and what shutter speed did I want, what F number did I want. I want to confirm the focus myself by using the, the, the live view zoom. And uh, well, that's just the way I roll. Uh, after all, I'm everyone's favorite vintage lens enthusiast. And, uh, you know, it's a good, good, good way to go. And just think, I think every one of these lenses is at least 50 years old. They stopped making them in 87. So let's see, 22, 32, eh, I don't know, 45 years old, something like that. But they're old. So, and they still work fine. And in fact, I really like this lens a lot. I was very pleased with the results I was getting. And like I said, you can check out the samples following. Okay, so uh, my philosophy is... Uh, you got a cat, you get up early, he doesn't know it's New Year's Day, so I got to get up and feed him. And then it's 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, so I just grab my gear and I go somewhere and I start taking pictures. 
and this is a resource uh, in the state I live in. And I say, well, you know, I should document this because everything's changing. Wherever you go in my state, uh, there's urban renewal, and they knock down old buildings and they put up uh, new buildings, or they renovate old buildings, and they repurpose old buildings into new buildings. So they could have been factories, and now they become stores and eateries and such. And so uh, I, I like to document that. And not only that, but the stores change. Some stores stick around for a long time, some there for a couple of years, maybe some for a couple of months. And this way, uh, uh, I, I, I like to, you know, eph document ephemeral systems. And then the big towns, oh, I wish I had a girlfriend to look like this, huh? <laughs> so anyway, these towns, uh, uh, they just change. They got flux. They're dynamic, you know. They're on the move. And uh, they're not decaying. Although some towns do decay. Uh, I try and stay away from those towns. So the Nikon Z50, well, you know, I'm not being... Uh, compensated for praising their camera, but it's a good camera, and I highly recommend it. If you're into, uh, going to get into mirrorless cameras, you can't go bad with the Z50 crop sensor, 20 megapixel, fully featured. <clears throat> and lenses, well, you just buy a whole bunch of adapt, different adapters, and you, you buy these uh, old lenses. You know, when I was a young guy, uh, I'm a boomer. When I was a young guy in the 70s and 80s, I couldn't afford these lenses. But now that they are uh, got an obsolete mount, uh, they're, uh, I wouldn't say they're a dime a dozen, but they're very reasonably priced, and the quality is up there. You can't beat this quality. I mean, Nikon, Canon, and Pentax, they were vying against each other in some sort of rivalry. They see who can make the best lenses. I really like the, the Canon look, but, you know, uh, Nikon made some great lenses, and Pentax made some great lenses. And I read about them, and, you know, even the ones I never heard of back in the day, and I read what other people say, and I say, yeah, I think I'll go get one. Yeah, they're only a hundred bucks. I'll get one. Try it out. <clears throat> and that's what I do. And, um, well, uh, this town had these big monumental churches, and, of course, they have liquor stores, and they have all sorts of other quaint shops. And uh, this is the street in the morning. And I just like the way it looked. And the, the Z50 has this great dynamic range. I mean, uh, I, I exposed a little bit for uh, shadows. So, of course, the sky got a little bit washed out. And uh, I didn't want to, like, adjust the, uh, the levels too much because then it, it looks weird, you know. So uh, I, I just went with that as much as I could. And then there's always uh, signs all over. I love neon, real neon. You know, that's pretty cool. I love neon. Side streets, you know, when the light hits it properly, it's really nice. It's just, you know, this is the state of America in New Year's Day 2023. Uh, what could I say? And... Uh, they have these old buildings, some are brick, some are painted over. You know, they have these more modern buildings, some are renovated, some are knocked down and put up new. And it's all this mishmash of everything. Uh, so uh, uh, I didn't see really any really, really old buildings there. Like this is the famous Wellmont Theater, and they really fix up this plaza. This plaza never used to be there. It's just like a street or something. And then, uh, uh, you know, that's why... Uh, a lot of towns I go, try some towns I go uh, once a month. Sometimes I go every couple months. And uh, this this town is out of the way. And I last time was there with my ex-girlfriend maybe two years ago. And there are some changes. Some is the same and some is different. Here's some real neon. I love neon. <laughs> cool cat music. What was that all about? Is there some sort of, they teach music, they sell uh, records. I like the shadows here. The shadows are making this weird uh, pattern on this building. And the building was making weird pattern. And the sky had a weird pattern. And then there's some of the, the, these, these buildings, they look so uh, quaint. And they have a lot of character. And of course they got the train station there. Lackawanna Station, of course. The American flag, I hope that isn't triggering anybody. 
I live in America. There's nothing I can do about it. I was born here by accident. Or God sent me here for some reason. I don't know. Monumental churches, rich town. This is actually a wooden cross uh, with some uh, metallic accents. This is in front of uh, some sort of professional medical building. This is a, a strange public sculpture. Church of the Immaculate Conception. Their sign looked like it was glowing or something. And then these churches had strange details on them, like a, an anchor, some sort of uh, torch, pizza joints. Where are, isn't there a pizza joint, right? They're all over. Pizza joints. The Jersey Boys Barbershop. You know, I like to take pictures of windows, but I like to keep the reflections in it. But if you angle it right, you, you get to see the best of both. And there's, there's, this is this main street. It's a big main street. And I, I just liked it because it had, uh, you know, uh, a lot of stores. Uh, a lot of main streets are dead. Uh, you know, the big box stores moved in. Here I switched to the, uh, the fisheye white angle. And uh, these big box stores killed all the main streets. And still, but uh, some towns they have these uh, artisanal shops like this, you know, and uh, the, the reflections in windows. I didn't care what was inside. It's like the reflection off the window. And there's a little self-portrait in there. I was able to cup my hand and put the lens up against the glass, and I got the interior of this quaint shop. Here's some uh, sun demons or daemons. I'm really into them. I like sun daemons. Anthropology. There used to be some sort of like a learning store or something where you had all sorts of uh, intellectual toys and stuff. And now it seems it got mostly clothes. Uh, this store wasn't open, so I couldn't verify what they were selling on the inside. And the wide angle lens lets you see like uh, the big picture and uh, a wide expanse. Here's another shot of anthropology. I thought they had like uh, all sorts of like cool uh, toys and stuff, but I guess not. And this is this, uh, the end.